Welcome back. Now, SEBI has recently amended the regulations governing the issue of debt securities, and this is worrying uh, companies because amendment seems to require that every time a company raises debt, the document has to be approved by the entire board. Lata joins in with the detail. Lata. Okay, what we are hearing from debt investment managers and their lawyers is that there is a new amendment that SEBI has put out September 18. Uh, they are amending the regulations which were issued in 2021. Those are the regulations governing companies which issue debt securities, basically debentures. And uh, the point is the new amendment may lead to delay in raising, uh, doing a debenture funding altogether. Now, what the amendment says is companies have to ensure that, and I'm nearly quoting, uh, the contents of the documents have been perused by the board of directors and the final and ultimate responsibility of the contents herein shall also lie with the board. That's the amendment that has been added. Now, what was the position earlier? The earlier position as of August 2021 was something called the GID kid uh, way of doing things. Now, the regulations, the, uh, under the uh, tw uh, August 2021 regulations, companies used to file with the uh, exchanges what was called a general information document or GID, GID. And that will have all the detailed financial information about the company that's fully vetted by the board. And then when, you, when actually the market is very, uh, you know, uh, opportune to raise money, at that time, the companies go and file a KID, a key information document in which only the price, the commercial terms are added and that's filed with the exchanges. So this GID KID method, the, the KID document, where only the key commercial information is filled, is not vetted by everyone. That is only vetted by the debenture committee, which has powers delegated by the board itself. Now, what investment bankers are now saying is that uh, uh, even exchanges are confused. Exchanges are saying, let's go and ask SEBI uh, because they are unwilling to take only the kid document, which is uh, uh, vetted only by the debenture committee. They're saying that the new rules look like the entire board has to peruse, as they say, the entire document. So we are also going to go and ask SEBI for uh, uh, clarification. The investment bankers say that uh, because of the latest amendment, the problem is as and when the market is propitious, you can't call the entire board, uh, especially in public listed companies. There are non-executive independent members. It's not possible to summon them exactly, a, a, you know, a day or two before the uh, a, a debenture is released. Now, the, the, I have a quote from lawyers at uh, Khaitan and Company. They say that the original 2021 regulations, which is called the Git Kid method, were meant to, for ease of business, ease of doing business, easing of the process of raising debt. The latest circular will inordinately delay because it is not possible to call the entire board at short notice. Now, there are lawyers who also speak on SEBI's behalf. They are saying, why did SEBI bring the amendment? Because in a few cases, one or two cases, and NBFC reneged on paying back the debenture holders, saying that the board never approved uh, this form of a debenture. So, you know, the, the board washed its hands off. SEBI had to close that loop and protect the lenders as well, which is why they have brought this amendment that the final document also has to be vetted by the board. The board can't claim that it did not uh, uh, read the uh, entire document. One doesn't know how it's going to end. Uh, some via media has to be found where good companies should be allowed to tap the market at an opportune moment. At the same time, you can't have uh, calling the entire board as the answer for full responsibility. Uh, I've, we have written to SEBI for their comments. Uh, their reply is awaited, but looks like it will be a work in progress. Thank you very much uh, for that. By the way, 